All right, we're joined now with uh, Chloe Meester, um, Adrenaline Volleyball, uh, Rising Star, Class of 25. So, Chloe, first of all, talk about being here. Talk to us just a couple minutes ago, but talk about your guys' experience so far at Nationals. Um, our experience has been pretty good. I feel like we've definitely put a lot of work in over the season to get here. And especially being in the National Bid, like, that area is definitely, like, very tough to compete in and very, very tough to get here. So I am very proud of our team to get here and, like, how much work we put in over this year. So let's talk about your game because one thing coaches have talked about a lot to me and I've noticed it just seems like you get stronger and stronger as the season goes on. Do you feel that in your game that you just get better and better? I definitely do feel like I get better over the season, especially during practice when we focus on the little things that I'm missing and I get better at those, which makes my game way better. How about from a confidence standpoint? Um, and we'll talk about energy in a second, but from a confidence standpoint, it just seems like you carry yourself as somebody who wants to take over a match. Do you feel that way? Yes, I do. So definitely towards the beginning of the season, I wasn't very confident in myself and how I was playing. But I had great coaches and amazing teammates that helped me through this way. And over the year, I definitely have very improved much in my time. And energy as well. It seems like from watching that match, you always play with quite a bit of energy. It's something you pride yourself on. Yes, I do. And all my teammates encourage me too. So it's like kind of a payback to encourage them as well. So talk about just your all-around game because that's another thing coaches talk about you do it all is there an area obviously attacking I'm sure is fun yeah but you spend a lot of time on that first contact on the defensive end don't you yeah so what's the what's the most fun part of the game for you offense or defense um I think offense is very fun because like I just when I get a kill or something on offense, like it's just very exciting. And I love defense too, just like watching where the ball goes and getting those like really cool digs or my teammates getting the really cool digs is also amazing too. But I think offense. So let's talk about the recruiting process a little bit. And first of all, what have you learned that maybe on June 14th you didn't know? What have you learned since then? Um, definitely just being patient with everybody, like taking my time and like knowing it's gonna be okay. like. June 14th, I was so scared. I thought I was gonna like freak out and I thought I was gonna have to call like maybe a couple people. But then over the time I was like, oh, well I get to narrow this down to like a couple teams. So right. then I just keep calling those teams. Up. So what's been important for you in your process? Everybody talks about the right fit, right? So with you, what what's that right fit gonna mean? Definitely somewhere where you feel comfortable at. like. It's the culture there, like the teammates. Make sure you feel comfortable with the teammates. You always have like somebody to talk to, and you're comfortable with the staff. Definitely, like somewhere that like you want to go, where you can just go and play, like enjoy it a lot. So, what about where where are you at? You know, with your process right now, are you? You feel like you're close? Do you feel like you want to take all your visits? Where are you at right now with your recruiting? Um, so my original plan was going to take all my visits, like and then figure it out, but everybody's committing so soon that I don't want to lose like a scholarship to a place that I really right. want to go to. So I'm probably either going to decide a little bit before the visits or just maybe visit one or two and then decide. And so have you, because I'm guessing you had a pretty big list, right? talking with coaches, we just saw your court, right? A lot of there. Have you started to narrow it down and maybe where are you at with that as far as a number? Yes. I'm probably going to narrow it down to like five or four. Okay. And then, so what What will it be at the end that just makes that school it? Like, what might be the deciding factor for you? Um, definitely somewhere that I'm just the most comfortable with. Like, somewhere that I can just go and it feels like home to me. And is that with, with more so coaches, teammates, a combination? Um, definitely both. Co coaches and teammates both. But definitely just I need to feel comfortable around them and want to go to practice. And so for that lucky fan base, uh, right, that might get your verbal in a couple weeks, what will they be getting from you as a person for the program that you decide to go to? Um, they'll be getting someone who has, like, a lot of energy, I'm going to say. I'm a very energetic girl. Uh, I'm very supportive, too, with my teammates. Like, if my teammates get an amazing kill, I literally would 
will just goes like right. crazy at them. It's so funny. And lastly, we try and ask all athletes this because a lot of college players tell us, hey, volleyball is not what defines me, right? There's a lot more to me. What's something about Chloe Meester that has nothing to do with volleyball? Um, I definitely try and give all my effort in, like, no matter what. And also, I enjoy it so much that I, I want to go to practice. I want to get better. A lot of people are just, like, showing up to practice. They, like, care, but they don't care that much. Like, I'm there, and I want to get better, and I enjoy it so much. All right, Chloe, thank you for your time. Chloe Meester from The Adrenaline.